A private Christian school in Maryland is suing the state after they threw them out of their state-run voucher program that helps pay tuition for students of low-income families. This was Bethel Christian Academy in Savage, Maryland. Now, they were officially kicked out of the voucher program in 2018 after what the state called anti-LGBT views that the school held towards students who were LGBT. In fact, not only have they kicked them out of the voucher program, but they want the school to pay back the thousands of dollars that the state has already given them for the voucher program when they were in it. That's how bad things have gotten with this case. Now, the school is being represented by the Alliance Defending Freedom, and a spokesperson for them says that, look, the school has done nothing wrong. They do not exclude children of a different sexual orientation from attending the school. They do not do that whatsoever. They said the only thing that they ask is that the grade school students refrain from engaging in sexual activity. They do not want them to engage in any sort of sexual contact, but they will allow students who possibly might be gay, trans, or whatever to be enrolled in the school. They say that is completely fine. They say this all has to do with the fact that in their handbook, the school says that they support marriage between a man and a woman and that God assigns your gender, that being either male or female. And that's what the state is really looking at here. That's what the Alliance Defending Freedom is saying. That's what they're doing. They're targeting them for that statement because they hate the fact that any sort of a Christian school or whoever would say such a horrible thing that marriage is between a man or a woman and that there's only male or female genders. You can't do that anymore. So they're stripping them of the voucher program. Now, we have seen tremendous victories for religious liberty cases. The Supreme Court has really been ruling in favor of those. If you look at, the course, the court cases of Jack Phillips, the Colorado baker, not wanting to bake the cake for the gay wedding, along with many others as well, the Supreme Court is ruling in favor of religious liberty. And I think in the, in the situation here, with Bethel Christian Academy, they've done nothing wrong. This is the state just targeting them because they're hostile towards their Christian views. But we will see where this all ends up. It is now going to federal court. So I'll try to give you guys an update on it once we do, in fact, have one. But let's keep everybody in prayer for this school here because, you know what, they've done nothing wrong. They're doing a great job. And they're trying to raise these kids the right way. And, of course, government is trying to interfere on that and infringe upon their religious rights of this school. Guys, let me know what you think. Sound off down below. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I will talk with you soon.